here we are with Isekai OG Sun episode 3. And yeah, last episode we got two new characters introduced. Um, Fujimiya, I think, uh, the childhood friend of Takafumi. And Marble from the Isekai world, which is like the ice girl. I don't know. Um, and yeah, it got hinted that maybe Fujimiya will become a roommate with OG Sun and Takafumi. Um, that could be interesting. But yeah, definitely can't wait to see more. May and I, I still want to see the elf girl coming to the real world. Maybe that's today. I guess we will find out. But yeah, if you like what you see, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Eh? Oh, oh my! There she is, bro. What? That came out of nowhere. So yeah, that came out of nowhere. I mean, I knew we would get her eventually, and I thought maybe, yeah, maybe today, third episode. But I didn't thought we would get her straight at the beginning of the episode. I would, I would think she would come like in the middle of the episode or something. So this catch me like off guard. Like, what? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Seventy-five minutes ago, and he went shopping in the meantime. Yeah, right? <laughs> She's not that nice, not to you at least. YouTube partner program. <laughs> what? Oh, he he doesn't meet the requirements. <laughs> Harsh reality. Amazing CGI. <laughs> because he trash talks everyone. Luval drum? He wants the information. Come on, say it. <laughs> and then stop and don't tell the whole story. Oh, he has a tsundere. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the fuck, dude? He cast translation? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, double swords. What is he doing? Did he broke the barrier? Why? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god, dude! Oh! Is it a titan? I... Okay, it's an... Cyclops. <laughs> I thought, like, there's a big ass... Wall. It's a titan. It's a titan, okay? It's Cyclops Titan. Dude, of course, I thought... As soon as I saw the wall, I thought, like... Is there gonna be a titan? And it is a titan. <laughs> god damn it, dude. The rumbling. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's just perish. Let the city perish. Oh, she is also one of those black holes. Ooh! Hello! That's neat. 
She looks dope. <laughs> Such a sundere. Holy shit. She is OP. <laughs> oh my god. There's still a bit of barrier left. Only the top is broken. Oh, they put it up again. Dude, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> This is part of the weapon? Oh, so she did it on purpose to calm him down? Damn that shot. Oh. Makes me wonder if this girl is really the girl from... That is now at the beginning in our apartment. <laughs> because I don't like her. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> Never show your weakness. And they subscribe. Hey, that's cool. There are good parts and there are bad parts about the internet. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Should I use a smile emoji? <laughs> to rub it in? Nowadays, yes it is. If you can make it. I mean, why not? <laughs> he invites her. They sleep in the same room? <laughs> she definitely doesn't like him. She hates him. That hit him deep. Indeed he is. Yeah, he just wants the best for everyone. Except the Tsundere. <laughs> she just appears out of nowhere? Oh, did Oji-san transform? He transformed, right? He transformed. What? Why? Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. Dude, my my hopes got shattered. I thought the elf girl would really come into the real world, but it's just Oji-san. No! Oji-san. <laughs> 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 he baits him with the Sega questions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> with an elf girl? <laughs> He's in. Guardian Heroes, let's go. <laughs> this is so dumb, dude. I love it. But man, I, I feel bad.
I mean, yeah. Sexy elf girl definitely gets clicks. Oh, we can get others? Memory, other memories too from others? He can not only read minds, he can only show minds of others to others. Who's that ugly kid? Right? That is disturbing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is this is nightmare fuel. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> right? Right? Dude, I'm speechless. This episode. I mean, who knows? Or maybe just honest feelings. Virtual elf YouTuber. God damn it. I have a weird question. Does everything change to a girl? <laughs> right? It's just about you. Simp video. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Put a nice girl into the video. Clicks. Like, not any girl, but like, an elf girl that looks good, people are like, clicks! <laughs> oh my god, the depot! Oh, oh, oh. That's disturbing too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right? From videos about games and Easy Kai powers to just videos about nice looking elf girls. <laughs> this was crazy. Dude, this. <sighs> okay, this was episode 3. And I have to say, first of all, I'm a bit disappointed. Because from the trailers and everything, I thought the elf girl would somehow come into, come into the real world and live there. But it was just OG's, OG's son who transformed. I'm disappointed. But who knows? Maybe we get her to the real world for real somehow. That would be cool. But I think I start to believe that that's not the case. Because she's probably not from the real world. So there's probably no way that she can get to the real world. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm a bit sad about that. If she would have followed him into the real world somehow and... That would have been very interesting, I think. Um, so yeah, that was a bit disappointing. Um, and besides that, I think this episode was just super weird and random. I kind of feel like this episode was all over the place. All over the place. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but let me let me check again. Um, yeah, we have the beginning with the elf girl, which was oji son like we found out later and then we have some backstory again about him oh yeah that he can't become a youtube partner because he has not the requirements basically the whole thing with the other world again where we got the attack on titan reference which i think was just super random his uh memory show spell that shows the memories can translate stuff which i which it makes sense. I didn't realize that every every time he shows memories, it's all in Japanese when the language of the world is a different. And I never realized that up until now, that it basically translates everything. What did she say here? 
Oh yeah, he just destroyed the barrier to see if he could do it. I think that was basically it. And then he asked the spirits to repair it again, and they did it. And the Tsundere couldn't show off. But man, she, her powers and all, that looks pretty cool with her sword and all that stuff. And then she used her um, shoulder piece to drop it so that she could calm the people down. Yeah, she basically like compared the sh made it so that they would compare the shoulder piece to the barrier, which both is like old and ancient, and so you have to maintain it properly and have to be careful with it so that you can keep everyone calm and so that they wouldn't go after Oji's son because they think he's an orc. And then he left and ran ran away from her because <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, you owe me a dinner now," and he doesn't want to be in dead to her so he just runs away because he doesn't want to be a sucker because he thinks otherwise she would come after him all the time which she's pretty much doing i mean she's following following him around like crazy and then yeah oji san asked his community to subscribe to him and they did it like crazy and takafumi was surprised that it's that there's a good side to the internet and not just a bad side and then what's her name again uh fujima 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 Fuji, Fuji, fujimiya and oji san talked a bit but fujimiya wasn't really interested interested that much well i mean takafumi got a call then he left and then they they talked and fujimiya wasn't really interested because she doesn't really like oji san because he's so obsessed with consoles and all that stuff and thinks that he ruins uh, takafumi's life <laughs> and then oji san left and transformed into the elf girl to get the information that he want that he wanted to know but that uh fujimiya refused to tell him which was like super weird that he can just transform then basically takafumi baited him with playing games so that he could make an elf video about him being an elf for super amounts of, cl uh, of clicks because well clickbait sexy elf girl just in a sweater nothing else and bam the clicks come in and then we saw the memory of Takafumi and we saw that Fujimiya looked like an ugly boy, which was like super nightmare fuel and that she just bullied him the whole time. And she was super shocked about it. Holy shit, I was shocked too. Yeah, but then we saw the video, how it turned out with the 200,000 clips and Oji's son was shocked about it and Takafumi was super hyped about it, that it worked out so well. And yeah, Fujimiya was shocked that <laughs> Oji's son transformed back in head. His ugly face again so just a super random episode i feel like i feel like it was like all over the place but it has like it has some weird crazy stuff going and it was just in that sense very funny to see it but yeah like i said i mostly i'm not mostly but like i'm a bit disappointed that the elf girl was just oji son who transformed and that we might not see the real elf girl in the real world. I would like to see that because, like I said, I think that would be very interesting if she would somehow come from the isekai world to the real world to follow him around in the real world to stalk him basically as Sundere. Um, but like I said, maybe that will happen. Uh, maybe that will happen. We don't know. But yeah, if you like what you saw or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah. Till next time. Bye-bye.